Welcome to Let's Get Real, the show that tells the truth about love, sex, and relationships. This program is for mature adults only. Watch at your own risk as the truth can have life-changing consequences. This show does not give advice. The information provided is accurate to the best of our knowledge. The opinions stated are those of the person speaking. And the truth, well, the only truth that matters is your own. For more information, visit www.gettingreal.tv. Viewer discretion is advised. Now, here's your hosts, David and Darlene Steele from Relationship Coaching Institute. Welcome to Let's Get Real. Today's episode is about sexual attraction. Tony from Ronert Park writes, I'm an active, fit guy, and when I married my wife, she was too. But over time, she lost interest in fitness and has gained 50 pounds. She's the same woman I fell in love with, but I'm no longer physically or sexually attracted to her. What should I do? So, Tony, all husbands have to deal with their wife's changing body. We have kids. Pregnancy is a big deal in a woman's <laughs> body. You know, us guys don't, we have to, don't have to go through that. You know, aging... Everybody gets older, our body changes as we, as we age. Illness, hormones, so our bodies do change. So just as you and all husbands have to deal with your wife's changing body, all wives have to deal with their <laughs> husband's changing body as well. So you may be sad that you lost your fitness buddy, but the reality is that over time your lifestyle changes. So Tony, let's get real. In the beginning, when a relationship is young, uh, desire and attraction comes easy. But over time, you really need to work at it. It's normal for desire to wane and decrease. The, attract, the, the change in attraction to your wife, it might not be just about the weight. It just might be that when you're with the same person over time, the level of attraction and level of desire just naturally sorts of decrease. You habituate to each other, you get used to each other, it's the same woman in your bed over and over and over again. It's, it's, it's a wonder we stay with the same woman for as long as we do, but there, there's a reason that we do, and we'll get into that. So it is normal for desire to decrease and not be as, as easy and as strong as it was in the beginning. So it might not necessarily be about her weight or just about her weight. But the good news is, desire isn't always correlated with arousal. So you can still have a great sex life, even if the desire isn't there. So just think about this. Even though your wife is 50 pounds heavier, if she were to touch you in a certain way, or to approach you in a certain way, you would get aroused. Chances are, even if you weren't feeling attracted to her one minute, you would be quite aroused and ready to have a good time with her, you know, the next minute. So that's what we mean by desire is not correlated with arousal. You can feel zero desire and still have a great sex life and still have great arousal and great sexual experiences and great climax and all that good stuff. And it also goes the other way. In fact, it's even more important for most men the other way is that even though, even when a wife doesn't feel in the mood, doesn't feel uh, desire, she, with a little bit of effort on the guy's part, can become aroused. And we talk about that in our radical sex program. So desire and arousal are not correlated. You, I know, because I'm a guy, can be quite aroused with just about any woman, including your wife. What? <laughs> well, just making a point. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to talk about that later. Okay. So here's some strategies to consider. First is adopt an attitude that you choose to focus on what does attract you to your wife, not what doesn't. And increase the level of intimacy in your relationship. Here's the thing. The more emotional intimacy, the more desire. The closeness you feel emotionally then the more attracted, the closer, 
the stronger the bond that you guys have, it won't matter what her weight is. Trust me with that. So we have a couple of resources that you might be interested in. And the first is our Radical Intimacy program. Radical Intimacy is about developing the closeness with your partner that you really want. Now, sometimes a relationship can work and be close and it seems effortless. You don't have to work at it at all. Most of the time, you need to put a little effort into a relationship working well. Radical intimacy is about going as deep and as far as you want to have the closeness and intimate relationship that you want. The Radical Sex Program, same thing. Sex happens, you know, in a relationship quite naturally. However, to create the sexual relationship that you really want, chances are it will take a little bit of effort and a little bit of, of strategy and some ideas that, you know, you can all learn a few things. That's actually the fun of a long-term committed relationship, is learning those things and practicing them together over time. So please do take a look at Radical Intimacy and Radical Sex. And if you're watching this video and you have an idea or suggestion or comment for Tony, please put it in the comment box below and let's help him regain his desire for his wife. And please to remember that telling the truth has consequences. It's the only way to have a really fulfilling relationship, but not all relationships can handle the truth. So if this is your situation, please do get the support you need from a qualified therapist, counselor, or coach. No one is successful alone, and just a little bit of support can go a long way in helping you live happily ever after. So thanks for watching, and bye for now. Bye-bye. What? <laughs> well, just making a point. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to talk about that later. Watching Let's Get Real, the show that tells the truth about love, sex, and relationships. For more information, more episodes, and to join the free Getting Real Club, visit www.gettingreal.tv. May you live the life you love with the love of your life.